So if you're struggling to get content from your model or you need more content, you need a higher volume of content that your model can't keep up with, you can, believe it or not, generate AI images, stick your model's face on it and use that as content to be uploaded wherever. You can do it for video as well. Um, and I've done a lot of videos on uh, AI models, pure AI models, where you can just basically sell content of AI models. But I haven't really covered um, using AI for your real models, which is obviously possible as well. Uh, so I'm going to cover that today. A little tutorial as well. Um, very basic tutorial, but you'll you'll get the you'll get the point. And um, it's more about actually practicing the the skills that I'm going to teach. So yeah. So situations that you could use AI content for your models then. So if your model's lazy, that's of course um, a good time to use AI content. You can actually just, if they're refusing to make content or making excuses or whatever, AI content, bang, bang it up on a page. Uh, if you require a high volume of content that your model can't keep up with, that's obviously another sign to be making AI content because obviously if they literally if you're asking for so much content, for example, if you're uh, posting on multiple subreddits or something like this, they might not be able to keep up with the workload. So that again, you could use AI, very simple. Uh, you could also use it to show content that your model isn't actually comfortable with doing herself. Obviously you need permission uh, because it will still be her face, etc. So she still needs to be comfortable with it. But if she's fine, if she's like, oh, it's AI, it's fine, it's not my actual body. Um, for example, if your model is a uh, model who doesn't do nude content, you could AI some nude content in and upload that and stick her face on it. And if she's happy with doing that, then fair play. There you go. You can now do nude content with that model. Uh, and if your model is unable to create content, so one time we had a situation where one of our models was in hospital uh, for like a week or two weeks and we obviously ran out of content and we just AI generated a load of images and um, yeah, it kept us going for that time. So software's used to, to actually create images. We use stockimage.ai, but they've had a recent update. So we're kind of figuring stuff out again. Uh, it's a huge update. We're still getting used to the platform. Um, getimage.ai is still very very good as well um, or whatever alternative you use I know there's a lot of alternatives nowadays for creating this type of content so feel free to use whatever you're comfortable with using uh, for replacing the face so like deep fake software face swap uh, software we use deepswap.ai there's a lot of apps you can use on your phone if you didn't want to use a computer uh, I'm sure you can use deep fake on your phone anyway but yeah there's a lot of apps you can use out there um, you've got loads and loads of choice. So yeah, I'm going to jump in to, um, get image actually show you quickly how I generated a couple images and then we're going to swap them and I'm going to show you basically how you can fake models content if you like. Right. So this is get image .ai. Uh, it's so simple to use literally just a prompt. Um, it is a strong competitor for, uh, stock image .ai, sorry um it's a strong competitor for it for sure uh the only problem is it can create some uh cartoony images like we see here um for seemingly no reason um that wasn't in the prompt or nothing like that so i've generated multiple images uh, i don't want to bore you with literally just this is what i typed into the prompt um blonde woman in bikini at beach that's it um literally just that created the images very very simple so I'm going to be using this image here. Seems good enough. Uh, I'll download that, stick it into DeepSwap, and we'll go from there. Right, this is DeepSwap. This is what it looks like. You very, very basically just click upload file, upload the file that you want to um, swap the image of, and then you go from there. So I've uploaded the image then. We're going to wait for it to upload. AI analyzing right cool so we've got this image here and we want to swap the face for a model's face so what we're gonna do is add our models face into the platform very very simple so I've stuck in a picture of Margot Robbie as our model 
Um, unfortunately, she is not currently signed up to our agency. Um, not yet, anyway. But as you can see, it's been uploaded. Uh, she's in the the, the, the platform. And um, all we do is click face swap. And hopefully, it's going to swap her face over. And there you go. That doesn't look amazing, of course. There's a few touch-ups you can do in Photoshop, etc. Um, also, you can um, change the actual original photo. So if it's just a bad photo, either of the model or of the AI-generated model, um, you can play around with those and find one until it actually works properly. Uh, so, yeah, not a great example, but you can play around with the tones, you can stick it in Photoshop, you can brush it up a bit, make it look a little bit more real. But again... There's nothing wrong with that. It still looks real. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you would go about uh, making content for your model using AI. AI generated image. Stick their face on it. Obviously make sure uh, the features are very similar. Um, so if your model has blonde hair, make the AI model have blonde hair. Um, if your model's slim, obviously make the model slim, etc. It's really not hard. You can work it out. Uh, but yeah, it's very very beneficial if you have lazy models or models that are unable to create the amount of content that you need um anything like this use ai to generate images so simple um not a lot of people do this they just sit about complaining about how their models being lazy but there is alternate methods to get content and if you're not willing to use them then well you're gonna get left behind simple as that so yeah hopefully you learned a little bit about ai image generation for real people um you can do this for Instagram, OnlyFans content, uh, Twitter content, Reddit, whatever. Whatever you're doing, you can generate images of AI and stick your model's face on, of course, with their permission, if it's um, nude content. Very simple.